Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on my video. This is Rocky here with another movie review for you. This one's going to be a little bit different as I'm going to be doing a review of the fan-made short film Dragon Ball Z Light of Hope Episode 1. This was created by the crew over at Robot Underdog and was directed by Donnie McMillan. Alright, for those that have not checked out Light of Hope yet, definitely follow the link on the screen or down in the description below and then go ahead and come back and watch this review. Alright, so they have a lot of behind the scenes videos on their channel. Please check them out, leave them some kind words, and go ahead and let them know I asked you to stop by. Alright, so there's quite a few live action Dragon Ball Z fan trailers and short films out there, but Light of Hope definitely takes things to a whole new power level. If you check out the interviews and the behind the scenes information, the Q&As and everything, you definitely get a sense that this crew is very passionate about Dragon Ball Z, and in particular these characters that they're presenting. I know sometimes anime can put some people off as they kind of see it as kind of just a cartoony silliness. But for me, Dragon Ball Z had a huge impact. It helped me get back into anime as well as it really pushed me to get back into writing. So the locations they used for this film were beautiful and really helped match the tone of the story. Now this is adapted from the History of Trunks film and basically tells the story of a future where Goku and pretty much all the other classic Dragon Ball Z heroes are dead. Gohan is training Trunks to help defeat Android 17 and 18, so it's essentially the story of Trunks' rise to being a hero. From the mountaintop to the beach, they definitely had some great scenery to work with. For the most part, the actors did a great job. In particular, I really enjoyed Tyler Tackett as Android 17, and Anton Bex killed it as Gohan. Now, these are the two characters that also get pretty much the most screen time and dialogue. Tyler really did a superb job of showing the arrogance of Seventeen, as well as the obsession with killing. With Anton, I could really feel a paternal need to protect, which is huge as it's a pretty key part to Trunks' eventual evolution to becoming that hero that he needs to be. Amy Johnston was alright as Eighteen, but again, we don't really get to see too much of her character, though you could sense Eighteen's boredom through the screen. Of all the primary cast, the weak link would be Jack Wald, who portrays a young Trunks. At times it seemed like he had trouble matching his emotions and intensity level to the particular scenes. Now that being said, the kid could absolutely act circles around me and I imagine a lot of those issues will go away as he spends more time with the character of Trunks. Alright, now on to some of the most important things when it comes to Dragon Ball Z. Fight scenes and energy blasts. So anyone that is a fan of DBZ knows about their epic power-ups that at times take more than one episode. Thankfully, we don't have to wait that long with Light of Hope. Now, overall, the effects of the energy attacks and power-ups were pretty amazing, considering this is at its core a fan film. In particular, I enjoyed the aerial fights and felt they represented the insane speed of these characters well. The choreography is sound, and the actors all seem to be pretty comfortable when it came to showing their martial arts skill. One slight gripe I have about the fight scenes is how they were shot. We get a lot of close up torso and above shots. When it comes to fight scenes, I'm a huge fan of full frame, far shots so that the viewer gets to see all the action. So that is something I would love to see improvement on in the future episodes. At this time, it sounds like the crew is in pre-production on both episodes two and three, but they are still working on funding and hope to raise around $50,000 to complete the next two episodes. If you choose, you can support them by way of their Indiegogo campaign, which can be found by following the link on the screen or down in the description below. Last I checked, it looked like they had raised around $16,000, so they are definitely on their way. So when it comes to Dragon Ball Z Light of Hope, it's alright. Which means I really encourage you to check out this short film as I feel it is one, if not the best, live action Dragon Ball Z films I have seen. Alright guys, those are my thoughts on Light of Hope. Go and let me know down in the comments below what you thought about this and if you plan on checking out episodes 2 and 3 when they come out. If you've enjoyed the video, I ask you to go ahead and pound that like button and please subscribe to my channel that way you can receive alerts when I post my next movie reviews as well as the television reviews I'm doing at this time as well. And if you have gone ahead and subscribed already, thank you very much. I really appreciate you coming on board and I hope you're enjoying the videos. Alright guys, all that being said, I hope everyone has a great rest of your day now. Bye!